Hi everyone, this is Dee with Dee's Divine Tarot 411 and today we're going to go ahead and get the weekly Celtic cross reading going for the sign of Taurus. And Taurus, this will be from the 8th through the 15th and I already shuffled and spoke with Divine about your cards so we're just going to go ahead and get you going. Your first card out the gate is the seven of pentacles so this just shows that you've been working working very hard to stack your pentacles whatever work you do or whatever you're doing it's not really satisfying you so it's like it's almost like the eight of cups where he's got the cup stacked and he's looking like he's leaving he's not really happy it's like something's missing and so that's what this card reminds me of it's the seven of pentacles and it just looks like You've been doing a lot of work and you're just not seeing your your value, your worth in the work that you've been doing. So it just may be about switching up how you may maybe switching up your perspective or doing something like getting back in nature, doing something to remind you that you are worthy because this could just be materialistic things. This could be anything from, you know, um, wanting and needing a new car or just something materialistic and for whatever reason you're not satisfied in the material realm so it may be just time to go into the spirit realm reconnect with spirit reconnect with the divine reconnect with god and then maybe this will pass for you because this is just about not feeling satisfied in the material world okay Next card we have is, yep, <laughs> the Four of Pentacles. So the Seven could take you back to the future, to the Four. So this is someone very pent up, very, um, like, holding on to everything they got, uh, their security, or they just very got a very lack mentality right now. So we'll try to get more clarity, but it just looks like, these two cards are representing kind of the same thing. He's unsatisfied and he's holding on to everything he has very tightly. So kind of like opposites attract energy. And that's the four and the seven of Pentacles. Next card we got is the judgment card. So looks like you're headed for some new judgment, some new uh, crossroads. Uh, and this is the root of the matter so you have some decision to make and you already know what decision to make and it's like spirit is helping you see what decision you need to make because this is the crossroads so you need to make a certain decision uh, and spirit will help you in that decision but make sure you choose the right decision don't go against what you already know don't go against spirit don't go against the divine okay see if we get more clarity the next card we got is the five of wands so this could be competition it could be a lot of chaos and drama around you and could be why you're in this uh seven of pentacles and four of pentacles maybe all these people around you with the drama has got you there and now you have to hold on to everything you got but we'll get a little bit more clarity as we keep going and progressing with your reading. Whoa. <laughs> wow. So this card here was behind you. This is what could come into. So <laughs> this is an awesome, awesome card, uh, Taurus. So this could be, wow. <laughs> this is the running theme of your, your uh, reading right now. So this is a magical card. This is the star, the superstar. So you basically embodying like one of the best cards in the deck, just like the sun. So it's like spirit is going to shine on you. You're going to feel like you are worthy. You're going to feel like you matter, that you your purpose matters, that you're here at the right time. This just makes you feel like truly connected with everything there is and that you're doing what you are meant to do here. So congratulations. This is a beautiful card. One of the best cards of the deck. All right, Taurus. Now the next card we got is death. So this could be the part of the judgment. Now, these are major arcana cards you got. All three of these are major arcana cards here. 
here and here. So powerful. So this energy should be around for a little while. The major arcana cards don't, um, that energy doesn't just poof out real fast. It stays with us for a while. So it could be the death of something you were doing that you're no longer going to do anymore. It could be a pattern that um, you said, no, nah, I'm done with this. I don't want this in my life anymore. It could just be uh, like you're done smoking cigarettes or doing like drinking. It could be like a vice or something that you're getting rid of that you no longer want to uh, have in your life. It could be a relationship. It could be just some old pattern that you're stopping. Or it could be an actual death in the family or friends or loved ones. I don't want to sugarcoat it and make it seem like it's not because it definitely can be. Uh, my wife passed six months ago, so I'm still in the remnants of all of this. Like I'm healing and doing my best to just take one moment, one step at a time. So I don't want to sugarcoat it and make it seem like it can't be a death in the family or someone you love, but looks like it could just be the death of like, a routine, a pattern, or a path. Okay. Next card we have. Oh, that was the end of your uh, first half of cards. So we'll recap the first half of your cards. And we came in with the seven and the four pentacles. So not satisfied. Not really satisfied. Holding on to everything you've got. <laughs> like your security. Real tight. You got people around you like could be some chaos and drama around you but it looks like judgment's coming in and you have to use your spiritual judgment in the situation looks like it's the death of a situation or something is coming to an end end of the road and then we got here you are the new you the star so let's just see what's coming in for your next half of your cards congratulations on becoming a superstar Taurus. Now your next card is, and it's immediate future. Wow. I love it, Taurus. So you got the Ace of Wands. So this is like one of the X-Men powers of uh, the deck. So you have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords, and those are pretty much the superhero powers of the deck. I mean, I would say the, the Ace of Pentacles could be too, and the Ace of Cups, but those are all about emotions and the Pentacles of Abundance. But these are the like the weapons of the suits uh, and the Pinnacle, I mean, the highest of the high of those weapons or those powers. So this is the Magical Wand, and it goes perfectly with the star. You can will both of these <laughs> to be a beautiful, beautiful uh, being. And so it looks like that's what you've done. You've been using your spiritual magic in a lot of ways. You have to use a lot of magic to become the star. So congratulations, y'all. Congratulations, Taurus, on whatever you're doing with this magical wand to bring in this star energy. Great, great, great. Great, great, great. All right, now your next card is the Four of Wands. So you're making some great decisions. You're doing some great things with your life. It just seems like it's the end of the old, end of the old. And now it's time to bring in the new with your magical wand. And it looks like you are the star. And look at what you bringing in with your magic. We did it. <laughs> this is like... A marriage or a wedding card this is like a milestone in your life this is like let's go ahead and do it let's do it me and you so this is basically one of the best cards of the deck and it's your foundation your home card so awesome awesome and i think it may just be well, this is this is your home card here the star and this is hopes and fears so amazing card for your hopes and your fears <laughs> next card we got is the nine of pentacles so with the nine of pentacles this is just you in your home and just filling yourself you probably got groceries you probably got you know your bills paid some extras for whatever you like to do and you just feeling like the queen of your castle feeling real good if you're a man you're in your divine feminine probably just enjoying you could be doing art projects in your house like because that's all divine feminine dancing writing singing 
you know, anything that we're doing artistic is the divine feminine. And the fellas, we I'm sorry to tell you, yes, you embody the divine feminine as well as your masculine. So this could be you as the masculine or this could be an actual queen of the castle like in, the, in her house really feeling it really feeling herself she's not a queen but she's feeling like a queen <laughs> so we're going to keep on going and these are your outcome cards so your next card will be the nine of wands so the nine of wands is just basically you've been going 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 doing 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 you acquired all those wands and you beat up by them but you've like met the challenges and you've collected all those wands from everybody who challenged you and so there's just one more to go and that'll be the 10th wand and then there won't be any more challenges you'll already have met them so just keep going don't give up especially since you're so close to get into where you need to be you don't want to give up and give somebody one try and then they get that 10th wand that's your wand just stay with what you're doing you're almost dead okay and the second to last uh, car, outcome card <laughs> is the Shady McGrady. So we got a shyster in, in the midst of you. And it looks like he's been lying. He's been, it could be a she too, lying, setting you up in all kinds of ways. You probably can't tell who and how they setting you up. They probably telling people lies and starting rumors they stealing from you all kinds of things and they happy about it you see the two swords in the ground and the other ones they they walking away with hoping you don't catch them so it's just basically someone around you telling stories on you gossiping lying on you but not somebody you really want in your life like that so looks like that's why you got the nine of wands you've been putting your magic uh to probably you know do your best in life and here comes this shyster so you want to get this dude just know somebody's around you be it a guy or a girl like doing shystiness around you so you might even know who that is and so your last card wow <laughs> all right Taurus your last card you're getting of your reading and of the outcome is the world card <laughs> this is the card we all want in every reading this or the sun or the star and look you got the star and the world and you got the magic look at all these major arcana cards holy smokes you got judgment you got the death you got the death of the old, you got judgment in your favor to make the right decision, you know what to make, and then you got the like superhero power of the deck, magic, super magic, to make you the, the star, and that star gave you the world. I'm telling you, it's so storybook, Taurus, you're on your way to the world and becoming the superstar that you are, using supreme spiritual magic, putting the end to what needed to be, and you got spiritual judgment on your side. So congratulations on a beautiful week coming up, Taurus. Thank y'all for letting me read for you. This is D with D's Divine Tarot 411. Blessings, blessings, peace and love. Bye now.